Welcome to Campbelltown for the Battle of the West Part 2. MacArthur FC gained bragging rights over the Wanderers in the Bulls' very first A-League game. But tonight, Western Sydney plot revenge for that defeat on December 30. It remains their only loss of the campaign so far. And they're now above tonight's rival on the A-League ladder by one solitary point. Ben Yart again on set-piece duty, clips it in this time, and the header flicked on, and MacArthur FC take the lead through Alex Jovanovic. A rare goal for him in his senior career. And the cowbells are ringing in a derby again. Yeah, and all that pressure finally pays off. They've been attacking and attacking, coming through. They've had a number of corners. Just chipped in there, and he's just too strong. Ziggy Gordon's there, and Jovanovic in between the two. Simon Cox gets up and just helps that ball on. He doesn't look for any power or anything. He's just helping it on. And it loops over Margus and races into the back of the net. That is something that Robbie identified is exactly right. That's something that Western Sydney Wanderers need to identify, that that is a real danger to Jovanovic and Susnia because although they're excellent players, they're not as quick as Zabini when he goes in behind them. And I know he likes to come and get the ball like this, but I'd rather see him on the shoulders where Cox is. That's what caused the drama last week, of course. Bahaja getting Milligan sent off with a run in behind. Tate Russell, what a save from Federici. Cat-like, the 36-year-old. Superb stretch from Federici, and Russell comes inside on his left foot. He shapes to go down the outside and comes back and curls that towards the back post. The way through for Lockie Rose to retrieve. Benyard slipped. Federici's a long way from home here. He's stranded. Dorans, will he go for goal? He can chip the keeper. Federici is back pedaling. What a goal from Graham Dorans! His first down under, and he showed all of the composure you'd want from a captain. What a brilliant finish to have those Wanderers fans pumped up big time. What a way to get on level terms. They're defending a corner. Lockie Rose picks up the ball virtually, what, five metres from the byline, plays this back, and it's a slip from Benyard. It was absolutely top draw. Like Robbie said, it was like one of them, you know, have you got, have you got it in ya? Boy, did he have it in him. Absolutely fantastic goal from Graham Dorans, one that he'll never forget. Puyo again. And the header! They're not far off two metres tall, these two, and they both score. Oh, it's a thumping header as well. Very right foot pass from Mark Natter, helped on by Troisi. And now Georgievsky slid it through delightfully. Troisi can bend it. Bruce Cabell to make the impact. It's in, surely. Federici, he kept it out, did he? He did not, did he? It's Super Bowl, this one. Kamau's in front. What a save that is from Federici. Then you think it's going in, and he pushes it out. Rebound off their own player, and it crashes into the post, to the crossbar, sorry. Unbelievable, what a save that is. A top draw save that. This time. Oh, what a, enjoy, what a goal! The Wanderers equalise, and it's a scorpion kick from back that sets it up. Another touch in the middle, I think. They celebrate with Keanu Bacchus for now. Flicks it with his, and it's Simon Cox. The scorpion kick assist from Keanu Bacchus and coolly nodded home by Cox. He needed to redirect it. It wasn't going on goal from Keanu Bacchus. Oh, and he's Johnny on the spot, and he has to do that for the goal. Just nods at home, empty net. Lovely ball from Golic. Allowed Benyard to turn. Najar holds fire. Will this hold up for him? It might, you know. It's, no, it's out of play eventually, says the assistant. And that's how it ends.
Wow, what a game. The second battle of the West will live long in the memory. Some amazing goals. The Wanderers coming from behind a couple of times to grab a point. And MacArthur FC remain winless at Campbelltown Stadium despite set-piece goals from their two centre-halves. Shushnya and Jovanovic both on target. The Wanderers had the better of the second half. Goals from Dorans and Simon Cox, enough to net them a point. Full-time, 2-2.